In this session, we will discuss about the electric field due to infinite surface charge distribution. So let us consider the infinite surface charge distribution. So this is the coordinate system. So let a infinite surface charge distribution be in Z is equal to some Z1 plane. So this plane has infinite surface charge distribution which is given by rho s coulomb per meter square. In the last class we saw that at any point P here the electric field is pointing away from the sheet of charge. and it is given by P is equal to rho s by 2 epsilon naught a z. This is for z greater than z1. So for all points which are above this uh, z is equal to z1 plane, the electric field is given by this expression. And for points which are below the Z is equal to Z1 plane, that is uh, this region, the electric field is given by rho s by 2 epsilon naught. So the magnitude is same, but the direction of the electric field is now in the downward direction, that is minus Az. So this is for Z less than Z1, the electric field is given by rho s by 2 epsilon naught minus S8. So two important points we have to observe here. Here are the electric field intensity due to infinite surface charge distribution is depend only upon the surface charge density in the permittivity of the medium. It is not dependent upon the distance of the point P from this surface charge. And also the direction of the electric field intensity is away from the surface charge. That is assuming that the surface charge distribution has is positive. If you consider a charge distribution, there is an infinite surface charge distribution which is as shown in this figure. Let's say this is some y is equal to y1 plane. So in this case, for points which are for which y is greater than y1, that is these points, P is pointing in the positive y direction. Whereas for points which are to the left of the this plane, the electric field is pointing in the negative y direction. So 
So therefore, in this case, electric field is given by again rho is by 2 epsilon naught and it is in positive y direction for points which are y greater than y1 that is these points which are to the left of right of this y is equal to y1 plane whereas for points which are to the left of this plane that is for y less than y1 e is equal to rho s by 2 epsilon naught minus a y this is for y less than y1 